Where'd it go? Ew. Yeah. No. Just be myself. Just be myself. Oh. All right. Where are we? Oh, here we are. I am trying. Good morning! Can you believe this? This is the last Friday. This is the last Friday of the month of February. And for the daily dose of Mama is in pajamas, <laughs> I'm back into my squirrel onesie. It's nice and cozy with my little uh, squirrel wings since it's a flying squirrel. And I thought it would be a good time to share some business tips. And so if the information that I share with you today is information that you feel So those are two ways that you can share with someone, especially if there's somebody in particular that you find the information that I'm going to share is beneficial for. You can tag them in the comment. That way they can find it easy. Or you can do the share button, for example, into their, 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 uh, what is it called? Like on Facebook, share it to their wall or change it, share it to their DM if they do Facebook Messenger. Not everybody does, does the Facebook Messenger, right? Oh, and good morning, boomerang. Challenging from an emotional standpoint, maybe it's somebody that's very close to them. So, yeah, when we're online, we share so much hobbies, birthdays, anniversaries, challenges. Sometimes we ask questions and uh, celebration of all sorts. It could be, for example, a first recital. Like, if you follow me for a while, you know that I love musical theater. That's a celebration. So here we're making a lot of sharing. Dialogue based on common grounds. So for example, somebody that is very much into talking about politics, that's not going to be an offline conversation for me because guess what? I don't really talk about politics. That is not my cup of tea. So to have dialogue about that. That offline and that can also turn into business. It can turn into And if any of this makes sense, even when you're watching the replay, you can just type in the comment, this makes sense. So once we have our common ground that is established, then we're taking that relationship offline to where we're building on it and we strengthen that relationship so that it makes it even easier 
to keep on building that personal connection. And there are so many different ways that we can do it. Maybe your local chamber is having a networking event for you to go to, whether you're a chamber member or not. It could be something that's open to go as a guest. And so you can go whether you're a member or you go as a guest, and then you can bring guests with you. You don't have to go alone. You can bring guests with you to where you can help your guests to also make are by partnering with other businesses. Hey, good morning, architects and heroes. Oh, I like that. Architects and heroes. I just weaved. I don't know what that does on your end, but I clicked the wave button on my end. So welcome, sharing some business tips. And so here, after we've created the online connection and we found common grounds, what do we do offline? So here I was into building a presence in the community you can volunteer. Maybe there's something that's close to your heart to where you can volunteer and have presence there and you can partner with those businesses. It's building our presence in the community in a way that we like, and we're building relationships. Taking care of animals. So that's uh, two ways to build offline. There's a total of four ways that I'm going to share with you. So two, number three. Three is direct mailing, such as personal postcards. And like, yeah, personal postcards. Like I get personal postcards and I love personal postcards. If you want more information, just go to the link in my bio where you can uh, find out more information on that. But word of mouth advertising that helps to build connections and it helps to build connections by serving by recognizing and by referring other people in their businesses like I got so excited so I belong to a networking group and we meet online because the whole state of Hawaii at the moment we still have a great number of restrictions and mandates as far as to how many people can get together and distancing we do with what resources we have and what we're able to do so for our networking group we're still meeting online at the moment until we can get back in person. But through that, we get to know one another and also what are ways that we can support one another. And I got so excited because I got to meet and connect with somebody that is in the Vegas area and connect them with a business owner that is here in Hawaii to where they both benefit from that connection and that is word of mouth advertising to where person a told me this is what they do 
this is the kind of businesses that they can help. And then business B told me, this is what I do, and this is the kind of help that I need. Oh, A and B are a perfect fit. So with me what their needs were, and it's like, whoa, these two make a great somebody that needs my products or services more likely to remember me than if I did not make connections for them food for thought so most importantly I'm gonna wrap it up here bridging the online and the offline to where we're building connections and we're bringing that gap you want to have balance because it's so important that we connect and that we team up with, especially in business, since this is today like a business tip day, is to have that balance between the know, like, and trust factors so that we can create lifelong customers, we can create or. create lifelong employees if we have employees. We can create lifelong team members if we work with a team. We can create lifelong relationships. And this in turn is an organic way of building and bringing referrals in business in all sorts of directions. So if this brought value to you, whether you're on Instagram or on Facebook, Oh, I wonder if I can put this on YouTube. I'll see if I can. There's probably a way for me to put it on YouTube as well. But if this brought value to you, whichever platform you're on, share it with others so that they can benefit from it as well. Don't hoard it. If something is of value, share it. If this brought value to you or you know that this will bring value to someone, share it with them. And until next time, a who we hope, remember to make tomorrow amazing with the actions that you do today. Woohoo! And oh. hello, Facebook. Uh huh. And today's with a daily dose. With some business steps. Up. And a tip for myself. <laughs> I'm going to have to pack more because I was running out of my water. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Okay. All right. So that was ending. And let me click on end live so yeah if if you got any value from the information that i share today share it with someone bring value to them and that is one more way of building relationship and uh, taking things from the online offline and supporting one another <laughs>